So we finally see the land cycle, which is always quite fascinating. Um, the land cycle will be the filter lands again. And I, I don't dislike the filter lands. They were just never, I mean, the reason they were expensive was they were from a long time ago. Morning Tide, Shadowmoor, Evening Tide. These sets were incredibly old. And then they reprinted it, and now they're going to double reprint. So that's what we're seeing a lot of this. We're seeing a lot of double reprinting, which means that um, once they're done reprinting at one time, they will consistently reprint it to the ground. And they're hoping that the price of these cards absolutely collapses. Therefore, they can sell their special edition. So instead of having the card itself be valuable, all cards will be... All cards will be not valuable minus the collector's edition of it. So Double Masters feels very met to me. Um, they obviously could have put Fetch Lands in the product because they have in the past for um, Master Sets, including the Modern Masters 2017 with the enemy Zendikar Lands. Um, there's just so many reprints, and they're actually reprinting... <laughs> Surprisingly, they're going to reprint more mystery booster boxes, which for the since it's cheaper, might be a better value, to be honest. Someone has, should do the math on that to see if a mystery booster box is a better value than a double masters. There are too many reprints um, that were just reprinted. Um, and the artwork is not really great, in my opinion. I, it does not resonate with me. Um, there's cards that should be reprinted but are not reprinted which is kind of weird and noah bradley lands are in the set so right after we had the whole debacle about noah bradley rachel bradley them basically preying on uh, young female artists uh, destroying their lives their careers um, you should watch uh, in netflix i mean there's a million documentaries but athlete a I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it's kind of what Noah Bradley does. So, all right, the Epstein documentary would be a really good example of how people's lives are affected by predatory behavior from people like Noah Bradley. So to see that his lands are being promoted, in, um, it's a little weird, no? I mean, it is kind of weird. So it's like we talk about one thing and then we don't commit to it and we're just going to row out Noah Bradley products until uh, eventually we, we haven't hired him. Rares appear more than Mythics um, and that's just the fact. Uh, so if you want a specific Mythic, you have a 3.2% chance of pulling it instead of a 5% if everything was even. Uh, and most people think that the set is very, very, very lazy. Um, and I think it is. It, it's almost like how can we create a set, hype it up, but not really care about our playtest or anything. It's a very expensive product. And I don't understand why no one is looking at it and saying, hey, this card should be here. This card should not. This card has been reprinted too many times. We probably don't need to filter lands. It really seems like they were. Um, this is an embarrassing product for the price point. And I'm almost certain that the mystery booster box, which I'll calculate on my own time, has, has better value. And that's getting reprinted. Um, so when you have a lot of people who are promoting this product, and there are people who are hyping up this product in a VIP product, and that's why they continue to make this um, product um, because you will buy it. And they don't really care if you complain, you whine, they drag you screaming and kicking. They know, here we have Path to Exile. Path to Exile's price has not recovered since Gideon uh, Spellbook. I don't know if you guys know how many reprints we have. We have Spellbooks. We have the commander decks. We have random things like game nights that can be reprinted. That can hold reprints in it. I mean, just the sheer number of reprints during COVID is, I mean, whoa. Plus, they baited and switched everybody. So there's that. Um, 
I don't know. This product is weird for many reasons. Uh, and number one is, I just don't think you need a collector's edition of an already very premium product. Why can't you just put the collector stuff in the product and not have a separate edition? It does not uh, make sense. Like I'm struggling to understand why this is happening. Or like who would be buying this stuff other than to flex on each other. I mean you do know that you cannot play with these. I mean right now COVID right. Like what's the point of having paper magic and buying new paper magic right now. If you're not going to play with it. So I don't know. It, it's, it has a few nice pieces in it correct. But man the, the bad cards are just really really bad. And there's no reason that they should be in a set like this in the quantity that they are in uh, yes we all have to have a tree perdition to make it you know worth gambling but it truly is um it is definitely something else right uh, and i don't i don't think um i do not think it's better than mystery booster boxes right now bye guys